ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the big show. It's Chomps Live Breaks. Just past 1030 in the east, 730 in the west, and 930 in the beautiful state of Arkansas, home of Chomps. The big show starts next. is going on good evening everyone with that we say hello my name is chomps host of chomps live breaks the greatest show in sports at least during covid thank you so much for being with us thursday may 21st the year 2020 very excited tonight the middle part of the sandwich triple header the rare triple header at chomps for at least thursday night why because we needed to have the Panini Leather and Lumber second half of the case. For whatever reason, after that first half case, I didn't schedule the second one. I don't know why. Thankfully, Matt L said, hey, when's the next one? I want to get on it. I looked and said, okay, we hadn't scheduled it. Let's do a triple header. So that's what we're doing tonight. Our first break was Don Russ. You know we love Don Russ here. And it was absolutely awesome. Not only did we get the great short prints that we come to expect, we actually pulled for the first time in Chomp's history not just one, but two Bo Bichette autos. And they pretty much came back to back. Have not seen anything like that. We've pulled two of the same before. Uh, Max Muncy stands out. Max Muncy is not Bo Bichette, at least not in the hobby. So uh, great job on that. Scott A, you had an amazing break with Toronto. Uh, you guys know the rumors. We print Bo Bichettes here. We print Vlad Guerrero's. We print Blue Jays. And uh, no one knows that better than Jeremiah D, who continues his active streak. He is now the Chomps Iron Man, most consecutive shows with at least one team. Several of you have active streaks going for uh, consecutive shows, maybe being in one or two of the breaks. But it is Jeremiah D who continues his crazy streak. I'm going to have to go back and add it up just so we can keep a hit counter and see what the Iron Man can get up to. But before we dive into a beautiful, brand new case of 2020 Gypsy Queen, I have some notes to share. Many of you are already in the chat. Hey, Logan, good to see you, buddy. Some of you did not hear some of the big news, so I wanna share it with you right now. First of all, and the best news of all, Blake D, great friend of the chat, been in contact, you guys knew from last night, Mr. Blake had been in the hospital, got a chance to talk to Blake today, and he was discharged several hours ago. So that is great news. Uh, not sure why he was in, it doesn't matter, not my business, uh, but anytime you're admitted to the hospital, you can assume there's some recovery time at home. I was emailing back and forth with Linda, his beautiful wife, before this show, and it's really nice to hear, not only is he back at home, he actually has a team tonight. Blake D has the Los Angeles Dodgers. Tonight, I am a Los Angeles Dodgers fan. I thought I'd never say those words, but I'm pulling for my buddy Blake D tonight. He is not going to be watching. In fact, Linda said he's, being, uh, he's momming him in a big way, making him go to bed, but that he's going to watch the show tomorrow. So. Give him your love, everybody. He's going to see this tomorrow. He's going to see the chat. Blake, so glad to hear you're back at home. Best of luck in your recovery. Best of luck with your Dodgers tonight. Welcome back to the Chomps family. We've been thinking about you. We've been praying for you. And the prayers will continue, my friend. Thank you for being such a good friend to us at Chomps. Uh, that's the first and, and biggest order of business tonight. Uh, outside of that, uh, I shared earlier that we have become an eBay power seller. On the 21st of each month, I thought it was the 22nd, eBay uh, reevaluates your standing. And for the first time ever, Chomps Live Breaks is now considered a top seller on eBay. This is not just about volume, although that has something to do with it. It's on time shipping, it's responsiveness to questions. There's a lot of different things that uh, go into that. 
and I am so pleased and so proud to share that great news that we, friends, are eBay power sellers. And that is because of you, not because of me. Uh, we just facilitate a channel and you guys like it and show your support. So again, I say thank you for your time. Thank you for your hard earned money. And uh, I hope you have a lot of fun. Thank you for making us power sellers. I also wanted to share some other notes. All orders for May 18th and 19th have been fulfilled. They go out first thing tomorrow. The break from last night may get out tomorrow. Worst case, it will be uh, Saturday morning before mail. And we'll work on this one too. Wanted to give you that heads up. Those of you that were in Gypsy last time that wanted uh, those boxes, you know, we opened up five, like tonight, we're gonna open up five, half case. And some of you had requested that, uh, that you get a box. And so we sent those out. I want you to know I didn't forget. Those of you that requested it, the first five, you got them. So uh, I'm gonna do the same thing tonight. If you guys want the empty box, kind of fun to put your cards in, go ahead and let me know. And I will put your name down on the show sheet to include one of these empty boxes with your shipment tonight so that you can put your cards in a, in a box we cracked on Chomps. So uh, just to let you know that, I'll be watching the chat. Also want to share some product update. I had thrown out some teasers. Thank you all so much, by the way, for the congratulations on that. That means a lot. Uh, product update. So we talked about uh, uh, Diamond Kings, 2019 Diamond Kings. I asked you, you'll see me do this often, do you want that? Do you want us to break that? We'd had uh, the ability to order some 12 box cases, but really what I wanted was the 24 box master case. There's some really cool stuff in that. Couldn't find it, couldn't find it. Finally got notification from a distributor. They had one and it was mine if I wanted it. You guys said yes. So that is purchased. That is on the way. Uh, that will be early to mid June. We're going to crack that together. Also, 2020 Bowman. I've mentioned that we have one box of 2020 Bowman first edition. That's going to break next Tuesday night. Just so you know, I did list those today on five day auctions. They're going live, I think, right now. Uh, check that out. But uh, 2020 Bowman. We've all been wanting it. It's been uh, it's supposed to come out earlier in the year, but this uh, virus stuff has slowed everything down. Well, we find out today that we could get those boxes, and I've got just an amazing distributor, got a great relationship with this one distributor, the one I do the most business with. They were able to score me a Bowman Hobby case, so 12 box case, and a Bowman Jumbo case, eight box Jumbo case. In the Hobby boxes, we're gonna get one auto per box, so we'll have 12 in that case. But the jumbos, you get three autos per box. And we have eight boxes, so that's 24 autos in that case. Going to be very exciting. I'm going to redo the show schedule because I do want to be a breaker that gets on it and uh, shows that nice product early on. So we are going to redo the show schedule uh, for next week. You can count on this next Thursday through Sunday. That's four nights. It's going to be 2020 Bowman night. We've never done it before. Each night, we're gonna crack three boxes of Hobby and two boxes of Jumbo. Two different shows, okay? So keep that in mind, mark your calendars. Can't wait for Bowman uh, weekend, Thursday through Sunday of next week. That's exciting. Uh, what else we have? We have some other cases on the way. We're gonna mix it up with we're gonna have Panini Chronicles. I was able to get a 2019 Chronicles case. You're gonna see that one. I've got another tribute. Uh, I've got another leather and lumber. That's been very popular on the way. Uh, you'll just see some different stuff. I want to mix it up. We will continue to uh, do our Don Russes. We'll do as many gypsies as we can because we all love them. But um, yeah, we've got a lot of fun stuff on the way. Michael S. says, uh, going to need to take out a second mortgage for these breaks. Yes, but Michael S., you did pull the Aaron Judge bazooka back last time we had this show. Number to 25. That was awesome. You got the Glaber Auto. You got the Geo Urshela Redemption. I remember that off the top of my head. What an amazing night for you. You've gone hard at it again tonight, and I wish you the best of luck, my friend. Um, that's about it, I guess, as far as news. Again, we have Leather and Lumber happening after this show. That is a, a 1 a.m. Eastern start time. I know that's late. 12 in the Central, 10 in the Pacific. That's hot. Going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and that will conclude tonight's triple header. Also want to share, Matt, your grab bags. Matt L's grab bags has been such a hot topic. The next round of grab bags drop in 27 minutes or so, 11 a.m. Eastern time. 
the first set doing well, but you got to get in on this. If you've kept an eye on Matt and the stuff he's pulled here, most of which he said is going in those grab bags, I want in on this. So don't forget to jump into his grab bags. And guys, we're a family show here. If there's other things that you're selling on eBay, let us know. I know we have trouble with links in the chat, but um, tell us your eBay username. Tell us what you're selling. Go ahead. Uh, Freebird, it's it's a Levanture underscore family underscore cards, I believe, uh, off the top of my head. Uh, Matt, you might want to just correct that if I'm wrong. Levanture underscore family underscore cards is where on eBay you can find those grab bags. So uh, Stemmer says, Chomps, thank you for the break earlier. Good luck, everyone. Thank you for being here again. Very excited. Yep, Matt L confirms in about 15 minutes. Levanture family cards. Also on Facebook, like that, like Chomps Live Breaks. We're all connected. And uh, like and subscribe and share and friend and all that fun stuff. We love to do that here. So thank you very much for putting up with the long intro. Had a lot to talk about. Wanted to get all that off my chest. And we now are going to talk 2020 Gypsy Queen. Let's take a look at our teams for tonight. Nice, full, clean show. Like the way that works. Stemmer says M-E-T-S, Mets, Mets, Mets. There's a hint as to what he's on, or looking for anyway. Todd T, welcome back on your Diamondbacks. Sean S, you've got your Bravos. Stephen B, you've got the Orioles. Michael S, welcome back. Good luck, same luck as you had last show. Boston Red Sox, Chicago Cubs. Nice a duo there. Jennifer H, welcome back on the Cincinnati Reds. Michael S, you've also grabbed the Indians. Mark M with the Rockies. Mark R with the White Sox. Michael S has got his Tigers. He's got his Marlins. Thomas B, looking for Jordan tonight with those Astros. Good luck, Thomas. The Royals goes out to Michael S, as well as my Angels. We're in this together, Michael. Go Halos, let's make it happen. Blake D, our MVP tonight. Get well soon. We are all Dodger fans tonight. Let's pull for the big Dodgers. Maybe we can pull them a Gavin Auto or something just really cool. Thomas B, you've got the Brewers. Jeff W on the Twins. Todd T with those Mets. M-E-T-S, Mets, Mets, Mets. Yankees to Alex H. Good luck on the Bombers. Heather M has scored her Oakland A's. Michael S has the Phillies and the Pirates. Mark R on the Padres. Charlie B with the Mariners. Chad E, you've got your Giants. The Cardinals goes to Ryan Z as well as the Tampa Bay Rays and the Texas Rangers. If you were getting sniped there at the end, Ryan Z might have had something to do with it. Good luck, buddy. Jeremiah D, the Iron Man of Chomps, continues his reign. He went big on the Blue Jays. He saw the last break. He knows that we print bows and we print Vladdies. And he stepped up and got the Blue Jays. Good job, JD. Good luck to you, buddy. And Logan F., welcome back, Logan. Uh, winner of the uh, Jose Urania one of one uh, water edition that was out last night. Can't wait that to get that in the mail uh, to you, my friend. Reigning champion, Washington Nationals. We have a brand new case to crack open together. Probably my favorite part of a break, a new case break, is to hear the sound of opening the box. The case. You will see here, it is still sealed. And folks, we are going to change that right now. So let me readjust the camera. Enjoy the greatest sound in breaking. There it is. See if I can do this, it's kind of heavy. Ah, there we go. Getting better. Well, there it is. Full case of Gypsy. Michael S. says, just do the whole case. We won't tell anyone. <laughs> My wife, who helps me with the invoices and accounting, may uh, have something to say about that, Michael. <laughs> well, let's do this like we like to do. We've got our handy-dandy dice that I stole from our Yahtzee game. It's now just mine. We are going to say 
Even number is on the left. Odd number is on the right. This will determine which side we get tonight. Bring this down a little bit. Best of luck, friends. You guys know I roll evens more often than not. That's a six. That is an even number. So we will get rid of this side. It's the bad side anyway. We didn't want this side. Although Michael S. says if it's free, open it. Don't blame me there. Get this put back in the box, ready for the other half show. Sweet. Well, this is what we're doing, friends. We've got a lot of it to do. Probably the product I enjoy cracking the most is Gypsy. Get set up here. There we go. That's it. So let's talk about what we're looking for. Of course we're looking for our two on-card autos per box. It's one of the things that we love about Gypsy. Not stickers, on-card, logoed cards, autos. But there is so much more to love in this product. First of all, you get 24 packs per box and eight cards per pack. So the nice thing is everyone is getting cards tonight. That's good. But in addition to the autos, we are looking for variation cards. We've got missing nameplates. We've got logo swaps, Jackie Robinson weekend, action, players weekend, camo, legendary short prints. Anything, any card over 300 in the checklist is a legend. We're going to see some of those tonight. And we've got the hallowed bazooka back. Hopefully we see some tonight. We normally see a handful of case, four-ish. So I hope for at least two tonight. And uh, let's see if they can be as good as the Judge Auto to 25 that Michael S. pulled last time. I'd be fine with that. All right, enough intro. It's time to break some cards. Let's get it on. I will explain as we go what we're looking for here. Sean says he's feeling Acuna Bazooka Auto tonight. Boy, that'd top it off after our judge, wouldn't it? That'd be sweet. Oh, didn't even have to do that. Sticker came right up. So something else you're going to see here is this extra pack. Three chrome cards inside. It's the box topper, and we have scored some serious goodness out of these. In fact, off the top of my head, I believe in one of the last breaks, we got a Vladdy Guerrero auto to 25 from these types of packs. So we're going to set it off to the side and we'll crack those last. This product is beautiful. The box is beautiful. The packs are nice. I've got a couple of loose boxes of this stuff with the inventory that I've been trying not to just open myself. I don't really have a home for them yet. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with them, but I'm very tempted to just open those. Matt L. just announced a bonus on Group A grab bags. Definitely check that out. Michael S. wants a trout bazooka bag. Oh, me too. I've been buying gypsy trouts here lately off of eBay. Bought another one today. Actually, it was a heritage one. It was a missing signature trout. $130. Thought that was a good deal. Let's get started. You can see every card. All, looks like it was drawn or painted. I imagine it was. You'll see the GQ logo there. If that looks any different, that's a logo swap. You're going to see the nameplate. When that's not there, that's a missing nameplate, as well as some other variations. But I'll give you a hint on this, friends. The hits are always on the fifth card. Keep that in mind. Never seen it any other way. So I'm going to bring this camera down so you can maybe see things a little bit better. And here we go. Let's get it started. Best of luck to you. Absolutely beautiful set. They're cardboard but they're really thick cardboard. Very, very clean. So you'll see me stop at the fifth card, right? And we take a good hard look at it. I don't see anything unique necessarily about that one. We flip it over also to check for bazooka backs. We're not just looking for the short prints, of course. We've got all the top rookies in this set. Spiffy's pulling for some Uranus tonight. In fact, Michael S. <laughs> Michael S., you have the Miami Marlins. So Michael S., is, that's just one of your several teams. If you are interested, 
in donating at least one Jose Urania to Cat, our other breaker, he will do some terrible things to it on camera because he hates Jose Urania. Keep that in mind. It is 100% in your hands. And how about this to get us started? A Jordan Alvarez rookie card. Folks, this is a tarot card. This is one of the beautiful inserts that they have. And this is arguably the best card you can get from it. That is Jordan Alvarez rookie card. Thomas B., you have scored the first Jordan Alvarez rookie. Awesome. Great news, too. We just heard from Michael S. And uh, he has given us the green light to uh, have them all. So, Michael, the good thing about that is you've now been the one to donate, which means you are going to be the recipient of the one-of-one one Urania that Cat will destroy. We will do this in your honor. That's, uh, that's exciting stuff right there, as far as I'm concerned. Spiffy says, you all have a Urania auto coming your way. See, that's, uh, that's one of the fun aspects of this. We said if we get a Urania, a Urania auto back in the mail from you guys, Cat is going to record a special show where he will blow it up on camera. Stay tuned for that. Folks, here is our first short print of the night. This is going to be a missing nameplate. We talked about this before. This is going to be Michael Lorenzen. You may think of him as a pitcher, but he's now a two-way player. The guy can hit. This is a missing nameplate. So Cincinnati Reds, you've got this one, Jennifer H. Very nice. Oh, good, Spiff. You've received it. It's come in, which means you can forward it on to the tank, and uh, he can blow it up. Imagine that'll happen next week. Robel Garcia, rookie there for the Cubbies. JD says, I need a Chomps auto on a Nico rookie. Oh, I don't want to ruin it for you. <laughs> I'll ruin it. Not a Nico. Have me sign someone not any good. <laughs> I refuse to ruin it for you. Our fifth card there is Travis Darno for the Bravos. Don't see anything initially. Exciting, not a bazooka back. JD says, I have 30 base cards. Okay, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, if there's a Nico you want me to sign, send your way, it'd be my honor to do that, JD. You just let me know what product it is. Don Russ, Gypsy. I don't know that I want to sign a Gypsy one. Those are a little nicer. Fifth card here. Oh, this is nice. Check it out. This is a fortune teller card. So you're going to see these as well. They're about half the size of a regular card, maybe a little bigger than half. But we've got a Luis Robert rookie card. Wow, fortune teller. So you're going to see these be orange, and that means that they're base. It was flipped over. Made me wonder if maybe it was bazooka or something. It doesn't seem to be. Uh, that way, obviously. But, um, hey, beautiful fortune teller. Mark R., nice hit. Chicago White Sox. Michael S. says, got the Inception cards today. The Alvarez Auto looks better in person. I was thrilled. And Michael S., not that it means anything, but for weeks we had been trying to pull a Jordan Alvarez Auto. We would pulled everybody else multiple times. And you were my first, man. You were my first, and it was Inception. And I won't forget it. That was uh, number to four, 449, I think, or 450. Beautiful rookie card. Auto. Good hit for you. There's a Yamamoto Marlins. Ron Marlin. We're looking for Urania. Tommy Pham is our fifth card. Don't see anything with that one. We'll check for bazooka backs. None there. At the end of each box, we're going to sift through and check for bazookas. Here's an AJ Puck rookie. Heather M., your Oakland A's. You have scored the first puck of the night. Thomas B. asks, can I be the second you're done? <laughs> I would love that. Sean says, still salivating over the green Robert the other night. And you know what? It didn't get its, it didn't get its full love. That Robert was numbered to 99. You can see it on our Facebook page. Um, but that was a sweet card. Oh, look at this. You know what this means? First auto of the night. We're going to set this down. Let Mr. Dixon watch over that for us. There, oh, there's a, a Ham Ham, Bryce Harper, Phillies, Michael S. 
Try not to drool all over the card, says Thomas B. I'll try. If it's good, I can't promise anything. I'm going to take a look and make sure that I have turned this right side up. I have done that now. Best of luck, friends. Here you go. Michael S., you have scored the first on-card auto of the night, and it's a beaut. Adbert Alzale, one of the top prospects in the Cubbies organization, you, sir, have scored the beautiful Alzale on-card auto. Rookie on-card auto. Let's get this bad boy sleeved up. Loving this Alzale. It's hard once you pulled the Judge Bazooka to 25 uh, to get excited over the Alzale. I hope you like it. I do. Beautiful card. They can't all be Bazooka to 25. We can still pull for it. Stemmer says, wasn't even going to try to guess. Just going just gonna to let that one go. <clears throat> well, that's our first auto of the box. Thomas P. says these autos are beautiful. Yes, they are. JD says, got the black and white to 50 auto coming soon. Yes, you did. Go Cubbies. You couldn't get the Cubs tonight. Michael S. said, they are mine. But we know we love your Cubs. Uh, Adrian Morjan, that's a rookie card for the Padres. That's in the fifth hole. Not normally short printed, but we'll check for bazooka backs. None there. Even these packs, they, they open up differently, if that makes sense. The, the material that they use on these are just a little different than most cards. Gypsy is a first-class product through and through. Well, we see color, friends. Look at this. It's Keon Wong. I used to say Colton Wong. I they could be related, I imagine. But this is going to be numbered. It's a rookie card. And this is numbered to 250, which makes it the indigo. There's a blue and an indigo. You're probably not going to be able to tell the difference on the front of the card. They do look extremely similar. I don't know why Gypsy did that. Didn't seem like they had to. But uh, the number to 250 is Indigo. The number to 199 is going to be the blue. In our Chrome packs, the Indigo is to 150 and the Chrome is to 99. So uh, the blue is to 99 in Chrome. So that's how you'll tell the difference, just so you know. Zach Gallon rookie. Nice one there for Todd T. Beautiful card. Stemmer says, hoping maybe the Power Performers Portrait Art Patch Originals one of one is available tonight. That'd be cool. There's a Keon Wong base for comparison. Marcus Simeon, of course, uh, Mouse had a hard time with that last name last night. Uh, remind, reminder, it's still a uh, kid's show, family-friendly show. Uh, check it out. So we not only pulled the Jordan Alvarez fortune tell, or, um, tarot card, we now pulled the fortune teller. How about that? So when we get the Jordan base, you have basically the trifecta. Thomas B. says Jordan number two. Base would be number three. And then what do we look for? The auto. Thomas B., nice hit. Keep that going. Sean says, going to have to go back and watch that for sure. Must see TV. We say it uh, all the time that there's a lot of folks that prefer television. Your major networks, maybe like my wife, records shows. I can't stand them. So what's my TV? YouTube breaks. Probably a lot like you. Rafi Devers, that's a tarot card. You can see that they're rounded on the corners. Nice card there for the Boston Red Sox and Michael S. Can't get enough of Gypsy. Thomas B. says, auto, chrome auto, bring them all out to play. Hey, we got two bows, two bow autos in the last show. You never know what we can do with Jordan tonight. Oh, look, it's Cat's second favorite or second, sec, not second favorite, the one he dislikes the most, second most, Manny Machado. I can't do his little high-pitched sound, or I'd do it for you. Uh, Tatis, we've got a fortune teller there, Mark R. You've scored the Fernando Tatis. Yu Chang, rookie for the Indians. Sean says, man, I love Gypsy inserts so much. They are so sweet. 
And when you can get fortunate enough to get some of those uh, fortune tellers um, short printed or even autoed because they're in there, that's sweet. There's a Lazardo. What you think, Spiff? Nice Lazardo. Another, we're getting lucky here on these uh, tarots. How about Ronald Acuna Jr., Sean S.? You were just saying you love these inserts. Well, sir, you've got one on the way, and it is one of the best players in the game. Ronald Acuna Jr. Wow. Good hit, my friend. That's one to put away. You are most most welcome, buddy. Let's get some more, though. Let's get some more Acuna tonight. I'd love to see the Acuna Auto. I was bidding on one the other night. It was an Acuna Auto. I can't remember what it was numbered to. It was short printed from Gypsy, and it was to 9.5. And I think I bowed out around $400. But it only had, like, minutes left. I, I Had I kept pushing, maybe I could have got it. All right, here is our second auto here in the box. So I'm going to set that down, finish the pack, and we'll get to it. Hey, Lou Bob, before we get the auto, Mark R. Investing in the White Sox tonight, looking for Lou Bob. How about that? Michael S. in the chat says Trout. Let's pull for Trout. I have never pulled a Trout Auto in a break. Jordan eluded me, and now it is Trout, although there's a lot of people that can say that. That is hard to pull. So I'm going to take a look. Flip it over here. Best of luck on your hit, and it will go to the Philadelphia Phillies, Michael S., Two autos, two for Michael S. That is Corey Dickerson, outfielder. Been, been with many teams. Beautiful auto there. Representing the Phillies here. I guess that's his current one. I have a hard time keeping track of where he's at. Michael S. says, never say never. I hope tonight's the night. I would do the Yordan. I'd take the Trout. I'll even take the Corey Dickerson. That's a nice card. Let's get that uh, top loaded for you, buddy. We'll get that in the recap. MLB says those tarot's are rounded on the corners like my 53 mantle. <laughs> you just hope, you know, that the 2020s are in better shape maybe than the 53 mantle. But for your sake, I hope the mantle is, the rest of it's in good shape. Matt L says I won a 61 mantle from an online auction house. Nice. That's cool. I'd like to see that one. Is that going in your grab bags? Let me let me log off here and go do some more bids if that's the case. Here is our first legend, and I have to crack up at this, because if you look at the checklist, you're going to see legends. You're going to see Babe Ruth, Sandy Koufax, Tony Gwynn, these types. For whatever reason, Deion Sanders cracked this list. I know he was a legendary football player, obviously two-way ball player uh, with baseball and football, but the fact that he cracked the Legends Gypsy Queen list... Um, little surprising, but nonetheless, it's short printed. Uh, that's card number 303 in the set, so we're going to want to get that sleeved up for the Cincinnati Reds, Jennifer H. Good pull for you. Michael S. says, a legend in his own mind. Fair, well said. Dion. Get that over there. Matt is stoked. Heck yeah. Alzale, rookie for the Cubbies. So we've got our two hits in this first box, but you never know. We've seen redemptions. We've seen some exciting stuff in addition to the hits. And we still have that chrome topper that could have a hit in it. Fifth card is going to be Gene Segura. Don't see anything special about this one. No bazooka back. Hey, Bo! Apparently not uh, being tired of being pulled... Coming off the last break, Strong, Bo Bichette, Jeremiah D. J.D., that is your Blue Jay, Bo Bichette. Coming your way. John Lester gets this pack started for us. Kershaw, Snell, some nice pitchers. Brock Burt, pitching prospect for the Rangers. Our fifth card is a missing nameplate. So we've scored another short print. The San Francisco Giants gets this one. And it's one of their best players, Brandon Belt. Chad E., your Giants. Nice missing nameplate short print. Good job there. I'm going to get us a, a pile of short prints tonight that we can take a look at later, kind of sift through. 
Thomas B. says, Bo Show. Nice, Jeremiah. Stalmont rookie for your Royals. Fifth card. Oh, look at this. Friends, we have a double SP. Sean, this is a sweet card. Most of the time, they flip these over because they're very rare. I'll tell you why. Number one, Chipper Jones is a short print. He is a legend in this series. Number two, it is missing nameplate. My friend, you have a double SP variation. I'm not sure what the odds are of pulling one of these, but they are pretty rare. Chipper Jones, card 311, double short print. And we are going to put that in a top loader for you, sir. Wow. Kind of got chills looking at that one. I love me some Chipper Jones, Hall of Famer. The double short print. These are the kinds I like to buy on eBay. These rare ones. You just don't see a lot of them out there. Beautiful card. Congratulations. Happy to see that. Oh, look at the Diaz. Diaz, is it? Diaz? Put your hands on the oodles and noodles. Chicken and beef. Chicken. What am I talking about? Watch last night's show. Some of you know where that comes from. Fifth card here. Ooh, it's going to be a Fernando Tatis Jr. Looking for something unique on the front. I don't see it. Sometimes, though, you can flip it over and get it bazooka some of those stars. Fingers crossed. Ah, no bazooka. That's all right. Nice card there still for the Padres and Mark R. We will continue to check those. And at the end of each box, we'll sift through all the cards in just in case we get a bazooka on a card that is not number five. That's possible. I say the hits are always on the fifth card uh, outside of bazooka backs. There's a Nico. There we go. Like this one. Cubbies, Michael S., Nico. Nice one. Followed by Juan Soto, crazy eyes as he stares down the pitcher. Yeah, Sean says three missing nameplates and two legend cards in one box is pretty wild in itself. At least they're not uh, being stingy tonight. Our fifth card there was Hosmer. Don't see anything with that one. Yeah, that is, that is nice to see that many short prints and, uh, and legends. Still tripping on the chipper. Legendary missing nameplate. That's, that's a keeper. Hey, there's a Yordan sighting. So, Thomas B., we now have the trifecta, the fortune teller, and the tarot, and the base. Now we are on to autos. The chrome one is another one, Thomas. Let's get a chrome base and an auto. Oh, look at this. So right after Yordan, our fifth card is going to be a missing nameplate, and it's a rookie card, and it's Logan Allen. Very nice. One of the top pitching prospects, uh, especially in the Indians organization. That is missing nameplated. Michael S. Sweet card. Don't see too many rookies on there. A lot of times they'll put a rookie card on the fifth card, but there won't be anything you know unique about it. I like seeing those rookies in the in the short print, you know, versions. There's a Sean Murphy rookie for the A's. Thomas B says, "Go try my favorite team." The Trastros have scored a Jose Altuve base card. There's Shohei. Michael S., our Angels, Shohei Otani base. Our fifth card is going to be a fortune teller, and that is Yelly. Christian Yelich, you'll see the orange around it, which makes it a base. It was flipped over, so I just checked the back. Looks normal, but Milwaukee Brewers, Thomas B., you've got the fortune teller Yelly coming your way. Jalen Davis rookie card and a Justin Dunn rookie card for the Giants and Mariners, respectively. We've got two more packs to go here. And then we've got our chrome box topper. And we'll check for bazooka backs. Just box one of five. We've got a long night ahead. And what else would we rather do than crack open a box of Gypsy? Five boxes of Gypsy. There's another example of a rookie card in the fifth spot. We'll flip it over. I don't see anything unique necessarily about that one. Straws, Mitch Garver, and Trey Turner. 
Spiff has given us an update, keeping us updated. There's about an hour to go in leather and lumber. Again, that show goes off 1 Eastern, 10 Pacific time. Those auctions. Oh, there's an Aquino. Plugging shows and going by Aquino. Devon says, Aquino, hit me. Boom. Like the Aquino there. Still have some time left in uh, in leather and lumber if you desire to get in on that. Fifth card was Ramos. See anything with that one? All right, let's check for bazookas real quick, and then we'll do our chrome topper. You'll see me just take the back. Oh, Spiffy says got the puck missing nameplate. I know how much how important that one is to you. That's a great card. I'd like to pull one of those for you one of these days. None there. You see me flipping through the back. If you've not seen the bazookas before, Devon, you're welcome. If you've not seen the bazookas before, you can't miss them. These will fool you because they're bright. Those are those tarot cards. But the bazookas are really bright. And you will know right away that you have scored a bazooka. None there. Stemmers is calling for an auto in the silver pack. Boy, that'd make us excited. Because they're always sweet. Those chrome cards are beautiful. Not seeing any yet. We have time. All right, no bazookas box one. We can live with that. Looking for a couple of them tonight. Let me move this out of the way. Spivy says, you all pulled me a Chris Davis bazooka. Yes, I remember that card. Love getting those A's for you, Spiff. Especially when they're look back. Yeah, Michael S. says, still no armed force day card. I don't think we've had one yet in, in any of these shows. They're obviously very rare, but we're cracking enough cases. Let's get it. Seth Brown, rookie for Oakland. Folks, you see some color in there. They're in the middle, so I'm going to pull the back one out. Uh, base, that's Polanco. And our color, best of luck, is going to be Nelly Cruz. Minnesota Twins, Jeff W. With the short print numbered to 99. Again, that makes it a blue variation. Indigo 150, blue to 99. Nice card there, Nelson Cruz. Want to get that one sleeved up for you. Jeff W., your Twins. Nice chrome top hit. We'll put these aside. And we'll get into box number two. All those chromes, Michael, so beautiful. And when they're colored like that, even better. Uh, we've seen some shorter prints than these blues and indigos. That's always exciting. That'll fire you up. We pulled the other night uh, one of them numbered to five. That's on our Facebook page. Check that out. Leather and Lumber auctions should probably start going off in the next 13 minutes, I believe. Again, we do these alphabetically, for the most part. Let me move these forward a little bit so you can see them. There we go. Leather and Lumber has got 40 hits in it. That half case, we will pull 40 autos and memorabilia tonight. Sean says he bought a Freeman out of five, like the Kirby. Yeah, the Kirby 8s we got to five. I couldn't remember who it was. Those are so cool. Our fifth card here is going to be Javi Baez. Take a hard look at that one. Not seeing any short print there. Randy Arizarena, Garrett Cole, and Castro. Nelly Cruz gets us started. Fifth card's going to be a tarot, and that is Starling Marte, the world. Pirates, Michael S. Bellinger, Ryu, and Bowers. Ben Attendee, former Razorback. Can't say Ben Attendee without making that claim here. 
All right, we have got our fifth card is what's called a logo swap for comparison friends. Remember the GQ up there? This funny looking picture is makes it a, a logo swap short print. That is Eduardo Rodriguez, Michael S, your Red Sox. We will add that to your short print pile. Very nice. First logo swap of the evening is Eduardo Rodriguez. Kikuchi, Melanson, another Seth Brown rookie. Our fifth card is Alex Colome. White Sox. Don't see anything initially. Check for Bazooka. No Bazooka on that one. Hunter Harvey. Rookie. Orioles. Oh, my boy. You know I got to call him out. Ask the Dio with the 14 chins. This kid loves cereal. Yeah, baby. What a terrible card. I say it every show we pull him. You know that his family's got to not even like that card. How about a fortune teller? Here you go, Sean. Acuna. Beautiful fortune teller coming your way. Matt L says marshmallow. <laughs> Eating them lucky charms. But he's in the majors because he doesn't strike out. He's got some crazy major league record about how many at-bats without a strikeout. And I'll tell you, he'll hustle. YouTube, a video where uh, Williams asks the Dio, he gets a triple. Yes, he's got a triple before. It actually uh, set off the Richter scale there at the ballpark in the city as it registered as a 2.1 on the Richter. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know that it actually registered anything. TJ Zook, rookie card in the fifth hole. Hey, Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux, Blake D. Mr. Blake D on the Gavin Lux, his first Gavin tonight, hopefully her first of many. There you go. Get well soon, Blake. There's a Gavin to perk you up a little bit. CC says, what's this leather and lumber all about? Yeah, you got to check it out, dude. 2019 Panini Leather and Lumber. We're going to pull 40 hits out of it tonight. 40 autos and memorabilia. And they are some sweet looking cards. We get the trout base to get started, not being sleeved. Sorry, cat. Don't see cat in the chat. Oh, look who it is. It's Jose Urena. Michael S. Oh, look, he covers a hit. I don't normally I let him cover the hit. I'm not. I'm just throwing him over there. Who's the next guy? Grandal, you can cover the hit. Urania, you are not worthy of covering an autograph. So we'll set you down there. Off in the distance, you'll see Urania tossed recklessly. I don't normally do that to your cards, but I do that to your Urania cards. Grandal's covering up the hit. I'm going to make sure I flip it over correctly. Best of luck, friends. And it is a Dodger. Yes. Blake D. Scores the Dodgers auto. Matt Beatty. Good to see <clears throat> oh, I love it. I love it. Get well soon, Blake. You have an auto. Check it out. Everybody pulling for you tonight. We are all Dodger fans. Let's put it on a pedestal in honor of our brother Blake. Boom. First jumps, big bite of the night candidate is the Blake D. Dodgers auto. Who cares who's on it? Blake D. gets him an auto. <clears throat> Linda actually uh, asked me for that. She said he'd love an auto tonight. How about that? Meant to be. Oh, remember we talked about our changes of colors here. Remember the uh, the green Lou Bob we got the other night? Nick Senzel, Jennifer H. 
your reds. How about number to 250? 43 out of 250 on the Nick Senzel. Beautiful card. Sleeve that one up for Jennifer. Love the variation, short print fortune tellers. Nice. That would be the indigo. That's right. Chris Davis, Posey, and Max Free. Loving that we pulled the Dodger. Everyone's a Dodger fan tonight. Lindor, Odor. Our fifth card is a missing nameplate, and it's a Brave, Sean. You got another nice short print, Soroka. I don't have to tell you that he's good. That's a nice card. A Mike Soroka missing nameplate. Short print. We'll add that to your haul, my man. Yeah, there you go. Matt L says, well deserved. Get well soon, Blake. We are all pulling for a healthy recovery, fast recovery. Love it. Fifth card is going to be, oh, it's my boy. That one's a lot better. He doesn't have 46 chins in this one. That's my boy. Way to go, twins. Jeff W. With the Astadio, Mr. Cereal. Not because of the cereal number. He just likes to eat cereal. Fortune teller. Smithy says, Arizona ends in four minutes for Leather and Lumber. That means that's the official start of the two-minute blocks for Leather and Lumber. If you have to jump out, go for it. Put your bids in. It is going to be a very exciting break. That I will assure you. Syndergaard, Tarot. That's why we uh, we had this third show, was because of that uh, leather and lumber break. Oh, there you go. Reese Hoskins there, but it's Lou Bob I'm interested in. Mark R, second Lou Bob. And I just love this card. See, they didn't do Astadio justice, but I think they did him justice. That's a just a bad-looking dude, like a bad card. I love it. It's sick. Luba. Our fifth card is also going to be a tarot from the Trash Rose. That is JV, Justin Verlander. Robel Garcia, rookie, followed by Carter Kaiboom. Dustin May, rookie for the Dodgers. And we have another fortune teller. Hey, and it's Bo. Hey, Bo. Very nice. Jeremiah D scores the fortune teller. Bo Bichette, rookie card. Is it an insert? Yes, but it also has that little RC at the bottom. So it's a rookie card. Nice hit, Jeremiah. So now we've got a Yordan and a Bo. Fortune teller. Ah, how about that? And then we get a Bo base. Two Bo Bichettes in one pack. That's some, That's one you'd like to open up at the card store. Sean says, still printing them. We are. Plenty of blue ink in the house. It does run out after a while. We've been pulling lots of, lots of bows tonight. But I think we're safe for a little while. Kyle Lewis, rookie for the M's. Our fifth card is a hit, folks. Set that baby down. Michael S. says Leather and Lumber Yanks is already over 150. I'll give you one hint as to why that is. Our good buddy Matt L. I'm not going to ask him what his high bid was, but he was going to get the Yankees tonight. Best of luck, friends, on the auto. I'll take a look. Flip it over here. Here we go. Oh, that's a beautiful one. How about Jesus Lazardo? Oakland A's Spiffy is gonna just oh he's getting chills. Jesus Lazardo on card auto rookie. 
What a beautiful card this is. One of the top pitching prospects for Oakland. Two southpaws, him and Puck. Look at that. That's a keeper. Jesus Lazardo. Nice. Congratulations, Heather M. That for sure goes in the hits recap. Loving that one. Fifth card is going to be a legend, and that is Roberto Clemente. Pittsburgh Pirates. We've seen Chipper and we've seen Dion. And now we have a Roberto Clemente to add to that haul. I do like to top load these ones for you. Spiffy's uh, about to make a probably an offer here in the chat. <laughs> Although I don't know that Heather M is, is there. Haven't heard from Heather M. Maybe she watches the show later. So get with Spiffy on that. He may make you an offer you cannot refuse. One can show the wealth. Don't have that one, but I do have three Lizardo autos and a Puck Gypsy auto. Nice. Well, see, you need that one because you don't have it yet. That's why we collect. Zach Grinky is your fifth card for the Trash Tros. Don't see anything with that one. Michael Chavis, Whit Merrifield. Sean says they're both going to be so good. I agree. Southpaws. Hard throwers. There's Aaron Savali, Indians rookie. Our fifth card is Simba and Drelton Simmons for my Halos. Nothing special with that. You guys know I say a lot. They stick a lot of angels in that fifth card spot as uh, kind of fillers instead of a short print. You'll see a lot of angels in the fifth. hope they don't end up like Todd Van Poppel. <laughs> I didn't think that's a name I'd hear tonight. Todd Van Poppel. Oh, we have color friends. We've got a numbered one coming up. Good luck. And it is Christian Walker for the Diamondbacks, and it's numbered to 150. 74 of 150. That makes this one the blue versus the indigo. A little more short printed than indigo at 250. So Christian Walker, Diamondbacks, Todd T., you have scored the short print there. Very nice. Hey, there's a puck. Talking about Lazardo, let's talk about puck. Nice. Heather scoring some nice Lazardo and puck cards already out the gate. Still just on box two. Sean says, I'm not bidding on Leather and Lumber, but I'm going to have to watch and see what's got you guys going wild. Dylan sees. It's a fun break. It is a fun break. Our fifth is going to be Max Scherzer. Initially don't see anything with this one. No, nope. it's hoping for Bazooka. Pujols, another Justin Dunn rookie, and Gary Sanchez. Michael S., uh, <laughs> oh, he's, he's giving up on the Yankees. If, if you guys go mano y mano, I could retire, but then there'd be no more chomp shows. So, yeah, at some point you got to call it, right? <laughs> There's a Cunha base. It's a nice card. Yachty. Yachty's in the fifth hole tonight. Don't see anything initially. Let's hope for a bazooka. No bazooka. It's Bryce Harper. Ham, ham. Four more packs left in box two, but we still have to check for bazookas, and we still have to check for chromes. Fifth card there is going to be a missing nameplate. Check it out. It's J-Ram. Jose Ramirez. That's a nice one. Cleveland, Michael S. Woohoo. That's a good one. Missing nameplate of a, of a star like when you see that. Again, everybody's got 
in the checklist, they've got the missing name. Well, I shouldn't say everybody. Most have the missing name plates. And you get guys that are just going, eh. But it's cool to pull uh, more of a star. That's why I've been seeking out the trouts all over eBay. Cashing in on others' good fortunes. Speaking of fortunes, we have a fortune teller. It's going to be Mr. Max Scherzer for the Nats. Logan F., that's your Nats. Michael S. says, I just might go have to go after a team in l and just to see what all the fuss is about. We do like our leather and lumber. Didn't know we'd like it as much as we did, but we sure did. Our fifth card is uh, Bro Brossau, I guess is how you say it, for the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Michael Brossau. Not short printed, as far as I can tell. A couple Dodgers there. Miami went from no bids, and now they have two. <laughs> Never know. Mar Marlon may pull up tonight. Out of 40 hits, there's a good chance of uh, lots of teams doing well. Fifth card in this last pack, it's going to be France from the Padres. That's Thai France. Don't see anything special with this one. Tommy LaStella, Crawford, and Inciarte. So let's do a quick check of bazookas, and then we will... Get to our chrome. As I said before, I think bazooka is really the only thing that can hide somewhere besides the fifth card. Because you'll notice I'll check the back of every fifth card, just in case. Just in case. And every once in a while they'll sneak up in these. Okay, not seeing anything there. Last pile. Yeah, Miami does not have a whole lot in that checklist, it looks like, he said. In, in leather and lumber. All right, no bazookas there in box two. Still have plenty of time for those. Oh, don't want to drop... Mr. Beatty here. Wouldn't mind dropping the Urania over there. All right. Let's do the Gypsy Topper. Best of luck, friends, in our Topper. We start off with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's a beautiful one. Jeremiah D. with the second year Guerrero. We've got color in the middle, so let's do the back. That is Jose Abreu. Best of luck, friends, on the short print. Hey, it's Yamamoto. We're talking junk on the Marlins. And they bust out here in Gypsy Queen. Michael S., your Marlins. Jordan Yamamoto, number to 150. That makes it the Indigo. Indigo, rookie short print. Chrome. Very nice card there. For Michael S. All right, we are on to box three. Looking for some big hits, some nice short prints, bazooka backs. Maybe we'll finally get the Armed Forces card we've been looking for. There's our topper. Let me back Beatty up a little bit. Still want him in, in camera shot. There we go. Just make some room. All right. Best of luck in box three. What does Gypsy have in store tonight? There's a Mike Trout base. Our fifth is J.D. Davis for the Mets. Don't see anything unique about that one. Fraley rookie and a Dubon rookie. Michael S., give me one second. I'm going to write your name down. I think you're the first that I've heard from. If I missed you guys earlier on some of that, I apologize. I'm going to go ahead and call you our first one, first requester. K. 
King of Wands, Walker Bueller, that's a tarot. For Blake D and his Dodgers. Let me make a note on the show sheet. Stemmers. Yep, if you want them, let me know. JD says LNL auctions are ending. We're nine minutes in. So we're probably four or five teams in already. Ooh, look at that color. That's different. Oh, Matt, I like that idea. Give Blake a box and sign it for him. Before we look at our beautiful color we have coming up, that's going to be a really nice short print. I'm going to do that. Blake D. Auto. I'm going to get. Uh, I'm going to get. I'm going to get the whole team to sign that. Plus Chomps team. Good idea. We'll do a get well soon, and every member of the Chomps team here. We'll get Cat and Mouse and. Mrs. Chomps and myself will all sign that. If I can get Diamond to sign it, we'll get him to sign it too. Great idea. Matt Theis, rookie there. Pulling for Trout. Michael, good luck. This is going to be very short printed. Here we go. Kirby Yates, are you kidding me? We got Kirby Yates last time in the Chrome. That was this short of a print. This one is to 10. 3 out of 10. Are you kidding me? Padres. Mark R. Kirby Yates is wild. We've got the chrome number to five and now the base number to ten. Boy, we have seen some weird stuff on this show tonight. The two Bichette autos and now the second Kirby Yates to, to uh, well, five or ten. You know, those chromes are kind of half, right? They're, they're half the number. So it's basically the equivalent. Numbered to ten. Beautiful. We'll stick this one on a stand. I like this one. Kirby Yates can go on a stand. Number to 10. You kind of keep an eye on him in the background. Bring these up a little bit so you guys can see them. There you go. Nice hit, Padres and Mark R. Vladdy, base. 20 minutes until Matt L. drops the second series of grab bags. Don't forget, Kevin Biggio. Nothing special on that one. Levancher underscore family underscore cards is where you're going to find those. Fifth card here is going to be, all right, it's another fortune teller Acuna. Sean, you're getting lucky with these tonight. Nice card. Fortune teller Acuna. Ozzy Albies leads us off. There's a base Kirby Yates. You've been good to us. Our fifth card is going to be Dominga Leyba. That's a rookie for the D-backs. Not Bazooka. Hey, Lou Bob. There's us another Lou Bob. I believe that is our third one. Yet again, Mark R. doing well between his White Sox and his Padres. Nice. Sean's offering up to MJ, one of the Acuna fortune tellers. That's why I love this channel. You guys do this kind of stuff all the time. Uh, don't keep score here. I love it. Dustin May rookie is nice, but that's covering up a hit. So we will set this, bu this baby down there. Hey, we got a bow. Another bow, printing bows. Some throw bows. We print bows. Jeremiah D, yet another bow bichette. Get that out to you, my friend. That is uh, very nice of you, Sean. Here we go. I'm going to double check it. 
Best of luck. Arizona, you have got an auto. Todd T. Look at that beautiful on-card auto. That is Alex Young. Pitcher for the D-backs. First auto for him tonight, Todd T. That is, I, I love every one of these. I know that you want to see the big players, so do I. But they're so cool. These cards are awesome. Congratulations, Arizona, from Spiffy. Yes. Very nice. Hits recap for sure. Oh, good, Stemmers. You're good. I'm glad to hear that. Your kid will love that for sure. MJ says his auto is like Cy Young. Nico. Get the Nico going. Cubbies, Michael S. Love Nico. Soto Base. Our fifth is going to be Munoz for the Padres rookie. No bazooka. A little, little stingy so far on our bazookas. No bazookas in the first two boxes. But again, you'll only see a handful in a case. Looks like we got color coming in our fifth card. Hey, not before we see another Yordan. Thomas B. with the Yordan. So that's what, two now? Two base rookies, the fortune teller, and the tarot. Not a bad haul so far. Good luck on our colored one here, friends. It is Nelson Cruz. Very nice. Nelson Cruz for the Twinkies. Number to 150. That's going to make this one a blue. Blue there, Nelly Cruz. Jeff W., your twins. Yeah, Michael S. says, make it a Dodger for Blake. I hope. I want to keep pulling more Dodgers tonight. Yeah, Sean, blue chrome Nelly. Yep. The Nellies are short printed tonight. We're seeing some patterns. We've got another fortune teller, Mr. Serial. Bobby Bradley, B squared, the assassin, rookie card. Giorcello, Baez rookie. Our fifth is going to be a tarot, and that's Cody B. Cody Bellinger, the star. Blake D, your Dodgers. Hernandez rookie for the Rangers. Keon Wong rookie for the Giants. We got another tarot. That's going to be Javi Baez. Javi Baez, Michael S., you've got the tarot card there. Tommy LaStella, all-star for the Angels. Sheldon Noose, rookie. Yeah, Matt L., Blake's getting some value tonight. Absolutely. I want to see him get one nice, one more big hit. We've got, uh, all right, another bow. Printing bows. Printing bows, Jeremiah. Another beautiful fortune teller, Bo Bichette, rookie card. Yes. Keep those coming. Nice value on those. Yes, Biff, I did not see that earlier. Um, if you get a chance, just so I don't forget, would you shoot me an eBay message on that? Oh, we got a hit here. Shoot me an eBay message, and I'll send it to you. I just don't want to forget being the, during the show. Sometimes I forget stuff. Try to keep notes. Trey Mancini, who will beat Stage 3 Cancer, you heard it here, is hiding our hit. Here we go. Good luck. Seattle Mariners gets Shed Long. The Shed Long. We've been pulling a lot of him lately. Shed Long on-card auto. That goes out to Charlie B. 
and his Seattle Mariners. First auto for him tonight. Beautiful on card. Shed long in the checklist. Nice card. Get that in the recap for you. Spiffy says, I swear between him and Hassan Diaz, they must have made 10000 of each. We have seen a lot of both. We need a, a Diaz and a, a Shed Long hit counter. That or somehow we're just getting them all. I don't know how that's happening. Jake DeGrom is the fifth. Don't see anything special instantly. No bazooka. Zach Gallen rookie. Diamondbacks. Todd's Diamondbacks. And Kyle Lewis. Yep, seen some Kyle Lewis. I finally put a trash can in here. But I'm not pushing it down. So it's sort of defeating the purpose at this point. Jesus Lazardo, rookie. Hey, there's a legend in the fifth hole. That is Mike Schmidt. Philadelphia Phillies and Michael S. You have scored the Mike Schmidt legend. I always ultra pro these. Uh, maybe a little excessive, but I love these legend cards. Beautiful card. 307 on the checklist. Remember, anything over 300 is a short print legend. Trash can is overflowing, Spiff. I uh, wanted to send some Morse code to my wife, so I was going to bang on it a bunch of times, but... Uh, Jose Altuve got confused when he heard that, so I decided against it. Fifth card has color. Oh, and it's turned over. I don't know if that means anything. I'm going to just set it down. Normally, you don't see those colors flipped over like that. <laughs> I stole it, Stemmers. <laughs> We're talking about trash cans. We're talking about the trash throws. All right, I'm going to see if this means anything or if it's just happened to be flipped over. Good luck, friends. David Dahl. Well, just happened to be flipped over. It's indigo. 220 of 250. A lot of times in Gypsy, when these are flipped over like that, it's something to, uh, to get excited about. I don't see anything else regarding short prints chat spiffy if you see anything let me know i think it's just it was just flipped over okay rockies mark m the david doll indigo yeah possible autos kind of thought that too sean wonders was it a jackie or players weekend i don't think so and i'll tell you why number one you don't see anything with the number 42 on it which means it's not Jackie. And a player's weekend is going to be the same color top and bottom. Either black on black or the white on white. It's one or the other. So, don't think so. Good guess, though. Yeah, me too. When it was upside down, I thought, oh, this one's maybe a little different. Our fifth card. Oh, my gosh. How about that? Is another Mike Schmidt. Weird stuff tonight. Second Mike Schmidt in what? Two packs? Three packs. Okay. Bad guess. <laughs> Keep guessing. Never know. Another one. Michael S. Second. Mike Schmidt. Short print. Yeah, we are doubling up a lot tonight, Spiff. Normally, I don't like that. I mean, it was pretty cool when the two Boba Shets came out, the autos. But I like to try to spread out the wealth for you guys a little bit. Blake Snell is the fifth card. Don't see anything initially there. You hope some of those better players score that bazooka back. Really makes them valuable. Fifth is Randall Gritchick, Blue Jays. Yu Chang, rookie. Ha 
<laughs> Run them together and see if it makes a trout auto. I'm not, I'm not a, a against that at this time. I would uh, do a lot of things to get a trout auto pulled. Just so you know. Even if it's not mine. All right, it's a logo swap. And it's cereal. Tricks are for kids. Silly rabbit. Look at him. Look at him. That's a face only mama could love. Logo swap cereal. Sweet. I have some great luck with my boy Astadio. We pulled an auto at a gypsy of Astadio not that long ago. Makes me happy. Made the twins owner happy. Made everybody else mad. Why waste an auto on Astadio? Thomas B. says, even Mama doesn't love that face. Possibly. Possibly. She tolerates him, though. Yamamoto rookie. Fifth card is a Scherzer fortune teller. I believe that's the second one for Logan F. Alzale rookie for the Cubbies. Meadows and Santander. You want to see what's on the back? Let's see what's on the back. Of the Astadio? Is that what you want to see? I lost him. Where is he? Oh, I know. I put him in the other pile. He's a short print. There's your back of it. Talks about his being extreme contact hitter. It's Cunha. Tatis. There's a Shohei in that fifth spot. Again, you'll see a lot of angels there. I'd notice it anyway. Check for Bazooka. No Bazooka on the Shohei. Demeret rookie and a Gavin Lux. Very nice. Mr. Blake D, your second Gavin Lux of the night. Add that to your haul there, and you got your auto in the background. It is officially Blake D night at Chomps. Hey, Jeremy. Nothing really big yet for the Yanks. There's my boy. Cereal. I'm telling you, I pull a lot of them. Fifth card here is going to be Christian Walker. Don't see a short print initially. No bazooka. Breggy. Diaz, is it? Diaz. All right. That was it for box three. Let's do a quick bazooka backs check. Have not had a bazooka tonight. Ready for one. Oh, that's not right. There we go. Keep looking. Phone keeps buzzing. Leather and lumber must be going off. Looks like we got about 30 more minutes worth, 33 minutes worth of bidding for leather and lumber. Oh, hey, Jeremy's got your 11-year-old with you. What's uh, what's his name? Let me shout him out. Now I'm wanting to pull some Yankees. Okay, no bazookas in that third. Alton. What's up, Alton? Here, I'm going to uh, add Alton to the show sheet. In fact, Alton, I am going to send you... With your dad's package, I'm going to send you one of the Gypsy Queen boxes that we broke tonight. I'm going to just flatten it, and I'll send it so the cards your dad gets or anything you want to put in there. Alton, this is for you. This isn't this isn't for your dad. This is for you, okay? There you go, Alton. I got you down. Alex H., for Alton. There we go. Oh, you got your 11-year-old too, MLB. What's... Okay, tell me about... Tell me his name. His or her name. 
Let's do our uh, let's do our chrome real quick. Hey, my pleasure, buddy. My pleasure. You are so welcome, Alton. Good luck. We've got a Whit Merrifield. Looks like we got color on the back, so that's good. Second is a Rizzo Cubby. Good luck on the color here, friends. Sh okay, Shane Bieber. Shane Bieber for your Indians. And that is numbered to 150. So that is an Indigo. Shane Bieber. Short print there. Michael S., your Indians. We'll go ahead and sleeve that baby up. <laughs> oh, Matthew J. Got my dog here. Black Lab named Dexter. There you go. There you go. Cool. We still have a lot of fun left. We got two more boxes to crack open. Special night. Oh, Xavier, he was with you last night. All right. Okay, well, look. Xavier, if you're listening, you get a box too. Mark M for Xavier. Xavier, this is for you. I'll tell you what. We'll uh, we'll sign it for you from Chomps and, and his team. Xavier's got our fifth and final box. Oh, you turned me onto that trout. That's right, Mark. And I bought it. I went online and I bought it. Thank you for doing that. Jeremy asked, do you sell individual boxes? I don't. You know, I really don't. Um, we've just been buying them for these breaks, like the cases. I have a few loose boxes that I keep hanging around. I really just do that because my dad, Diamond, and, and my brother, Cat, that breaks on here, they get uh, they get Jones in like we all do to open some cards. So I usually try to buy a few loose wax boxes just to keep around. So when they, they'll call me and they'll say, hey, I'm in, I'm in your neighborhood. Do you have any loose wax? I'll say, yeah, swing by. And whatever I paid for it, I just give it to them for that and... That's it. Every once in a while, I'll open one, too. But I'm I'm lucky I get to open up cards on camera. I found that's pretty gratifying. There's a Dustin May rookie. So don't feel like I have to... Uh, hey, missing nameplate, short print. Don't feel like I have to do too much of that for myself. Missing nameplate, Chicago White Sox. Mark R. This goes out to you. It is Yolmer Sanchez. Very cool. He's on his last pack, coming to join us soon. Good. Good. Bring them over. Get our next generation of card collectors going. There's nothing like those memories spent, those of us that have memories spent with a parent, maybe a dad. Spiffy's serious about his A's tonight. <laughs> it's like it's not a misprint. I really put that bit in. <laughs> Dare I ask? Mm -hmm. Well, it may not be over yet. We shouldn't give it away, but whenever it gets over, you should tell us... Uh, you should tell us what you got it for and then what you actually put in there as a bid. But, of course, wait till it's over. Pete Alonzo, New York Mets. That's the tarot. Nice card there for Todd T. Way to go, Todd. Get that one out to you, my friend. There's a Chapman. Alton, that one's coming your way. Austin Nola, our fifth card, is going to be Glaber Torres. That is a fortune teller also for Alex and Alton. Very nice. Or is it Jeremy? You got Jeremy in the chat and I got Alex, Alex right now. I want to call you by the right name. Gavin Lux, how about another Gavin for Blake D? Hey, Tyler Q, what's up, buddy? Good to see you in the chat. You know what? You know I'm pretty honest about it. So far, not a lot of juice. Not a lot of juice yet in Gypsy. <laughs> I hear you, Jeremy. <laughs> well worth the grief. I understand that. You got to make those decisions. Special time. How about an Aesthetis Aquino rookie? One of the top prospects, Jennifer H. I love this card. You've got that Aquino. Very nice. Six more minutes, Spiff said on A's. That means he's almost done. Oh, look at this. Our fifth card is a short print. Honus Wagner. 
Are you kidding me? Pittsburgh Pirates? Michael S? Now that's a legend. Respectfully, I don't want to see Deion Sanders. I want to see Honus Wagner in this checklist. Card number 319. Love that. Let's get that top loaded too. Love seeing the Honus Wagner. That's the cool thing about the leather and lumber too, Matt, with your grab bags. There's just so many hits in it that, you know, you get in on enough teams or, or you get lucky with your one team or whatever it is. You've got a lot of hits for grab bags. It's kind of fun. Those grab bags just dropped. Check out Levancher underscore family underscore cards is the eBay name. There's a Rizzo. And check out his most recent grab bags. All right, we've got a logo swap, friends. And it's Boston. Boston Red Sox. Michael S., you have got the Xander Bogarts logo swap. If In case you wonder what am I talking about, there's that GQ logo normally. There's that there. So that makes it a short print. Not as many of those made. Very nice Bogarts there. For Michael. Oh, Michael, you just got sniped on <laughs> Leather and Lumber for the Mets. Spiff says Dion is about as big of a legend in baseball as Dan McGuire is in football. <laughs> oh, we have fun. Fifth card is going to be that Bruce Al character there, that rookie for the Rays. Not Bazooka. Zach Gallen rookie. Nice for Todd. Matthew J got sniped on the Braves. Salmon <laughs> <That one> sucks. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, we got color in the fifth hole. That is Jimenez. That's the Tigers. That's Joe Jimenez. Number to 150. That's number 100 of 150. Probably making that at what, Spiffy and eBay one of one? Because it's like a cool number 100 wow nice tigers goes out to you michael s yeah those uh the last few seconds man these auctions go nuts yeah michael s last five seconds that's that's why we call it sniping people just waiting there with their finger on the trigger to throw some bid to knock somebody out Fifth card is going to be Brian Reynolds. See anything unique about that one? Tyler says he had to score a team for his first leather and lumber break. Pumped you got one. Good, man. 40 hits in that one. A lot of hits to go around. Kyle Lewis, rookie there. That's why we love it so much, to be honest with you. Just hits galore. Yank sold for 255. I bet I know who won it. I don't have to look. There's a Paul DeYoung fortune teller. Yu Chang rookie. Al Zale, Cubbies rookie. Congratulations, Matt L. I don't have to look. Matt L is the winner of the Yankees tonight. Be shocked if he wasn't. Keep getting sniped, huh? I'm telling you, it's a pop for breakers, that's a popular product because all the hits. It's actually kind of hard to get a hold of one. Hey, Xavier, what's going on, man? Good to see you in the chat. Oh, Siri thought I said, hey, Siri. Hang on. Xavier, I blame you on that. <laughs> oh, fifth card in the deck is Willie Adamas. Not Bazooka, but we got a Lubob right afterwards. So Mark R, here you go. With your Lubob. Very nice. Yeah, Matt L., if you've been paying attention, Matt has said he was not going to lose that auction. So he probably would have kindly had the Chomps family stay off of it to keep the price down. But uh, the rest of eBay world uh, wasn't having it either, I guess. So 255 on the Yankees tonight. We've got a Tarot. That is a Roldis Chapman. You're going to see uh, some really cool... Every card in Leather and Lumber is unique. You'll, you'll notice the similarities of the base cards, but even the base cards are cool. The base cards are really unique. 
just a cool series they have. Tarot for the Joker. Well, that's kind of fitting. Alex Bregman. I wonder if they have the cheater card. That'd be cool. And Bo. There's some respectability. Bringing back with Bo Bichette. Jeremiah D., your Bo. Nice. Oh, you missed the A's by a buck. Dang it. That's too bad. We got color. That's Brandon Belt. Number to 250, making it indigo. Very nice. Logan Allen rookie. There's a hit. Been looking for that auto. There's Diaz, is it? Diaz? Get a lot of Diaz around here. Let's me say my catchphrase for him. That's exciting. I'll take a little look here. Best of luck, friends. White Sox. Zach Collins. That's a good one for Mark R., owner of the White Sox. Look at that beautiful on-card auto. Very nice. One of the top rookies in the White Sox system. Very nice player. Love it. There it is. Yep, Xavier, we do have a lot of auctions ending in the hour. Do you want to see you want to see the gypsy box? Here. what it looks like coming your way and we're going to sign it for you too so you can put your cards in it my glass says someone else is going hard for the blue jays wonder who it is yeah if you sean you're right if you look at the yankees checklist for leather and lumber there's a reason that matt l went as hard as he did there's some sick cards in there Yeah, Xavier, it's going to be nice to have that box. You bet. My pleasure. Dylan Cease, rookie. Our fifth card is Yachty. Not Bazooka. Someone else is pulling for the Lorianos, but have no fear, Spiff. We've got a lot of 2019 sweet product on the way, including Diamond Kings. Collins rookie. Hey, another Urania. Those of you who normally know I don't treat your cards like that, but I have full permission to damage the Urania cards. There's a Keston here, a fortune teller. We're going to be saving. That's two now, Uranias. We'll save for Cat to do some uh, <laughs> to do some terrible things to. Coming your way soon. Brendan McKay, rookie card there. Ryan Z, your raise. Hey, our fifth is a logo swap. There again is the difference. As Drubal Cabrera, Logan F, your Nats. I know it's been a little quiet but for the Nats, but you've got the logo swap as Drubal Cabrera. Nice short print there. I'm going to put that in our short print pile. Oh, Urania's on the checklist? I was not aware of that. Ooh. Well, this could get interesting. Who won the Marlins? Anyone from in here? I hope it is, because then they'll understand that we probably need those from him. <laughs> the two-finger fling on the Urania. Busting out the old school moves. Pro moves. There's a uh, Zach Davies for the Padres. Don't see anything unique about that one. A couple more packs of box four. Well, actually several more. I'm sorry. About five more packs. Before we get on to box five, our fifth card is also that France character we saw earlier. No short print.
For those that are not sure how to check the checklists easily, go to cardboardconnection.com. Best resource for checklists, in my opinion. Austin Meadows, Fortune Teller. Most of the information I get when preparing for a show, really all the information, I found there's not a better source online, in my opinion, than cardboardconnection.com. Easy to use interface. Has information on every year. Going back, I don't even know how far. Every possible card you can pull in any given year, any given set. They've got it listed there. Examples of pictures. Really makes you... There's an auto coming. Really makes you a smarter fan, a smarter collector. When you can go and look at checklists to see what to bid on. All right, I'm going to take a peek at the auto. Best of luck. You guys are going to start giggling. Cereal. I told you I'd get another one. Williams mm -hmm. Astadio, Jeff W., and your Minnesota Twins. Look at that face. He looks like Pudge right there. Doesn't he? Looks Well, I mean, a fat, fatter Pudge. Maybe we should call him Fat Pudge. Which is almost an oxymoron, if you think about it. Fat Pudge. Williams Astadio. Twinkies, Jeff W. Look, yeah, Tyler, I was supposed to give it to you the other night. You're right. Swallowed a bowling ball from Randall S. Huh. All right. Another one for the hit column. Fifth is Lurie Guriel. Nothing there. Final pack of box four, and we'll be on to five. Fifth is Rowdy Tellez. Tellez. Nothing there. Not a short print. All right, let's check bazooka backs. We'll be on to our next box conquest. Kind of looked like his poop face. Maybe he was taking a numero dos. Kind of gross in all that equipment, though. Too much cereal. It happens. Oh, man. The A's. You, yeah, you know what, Spiff? At 102, that would have been by far the highest you've ever been on an A's. And you still didn't get it. Sheesh. Well, Mrs. Chomps might like the balance sheet after this one. I don't know. Have to see. No bazooka backs. Four boxes in. Yikes. We need some serious hits here in this fifth box. Otherwise, my dice roll did us no good. Xavier wants some Rockies cards. Let's do it, buddy. Get some Rockies. Oh, didn't need to pull. Didn't need to cut it. All right. Oh, I didn't do the topper. I'm sorry. No one's reminded me of that. Let's do the topper from the last one. I saw the topper, and I went, oh, we didn't do that last topper. Starling Marte base. Something sticking there. Okay. Uh, Austin Meadows. We have color. And it's Whit Merrifield. Whit Merrifield, Michael S. That is to 99, which makes it blue. Blue Whit Merrifield. Very nice. Now we can go to box five. San Diego sold for 112.50. Yeah, it's a little high on them. Matt Ellis calling for a Lux Auto to cap it off. Wouldn't that be cool for Blake? We're all Dodger fans tonight. Best of luck, friends. Final box of Gypsy tonight. Michael S. got sniped twice for L&L. Trying to get a team. It's not for the faint of heart. 
Well, it's not for lack of trying either. Fifth card here is Max Muncy. Oh, and look at this. You guys notice something about this one? What do you notice? Pretty rare hit here, friends. And guess what? It's a Dodger. What do you notice about it? Call it out. Jackie. That's right. Sean, Thomas B., you're absolutely right. This is a pretty rare one. It is the Jackie Robinson Day, and I'm going to show you why in just a minute. Let me sleeve it up. And it couldn't go to a better guy. Blake D. recovering from being in the hospital. His first team back from the hospital. We're doing it for Blake tonight. See the number 42? If you see 42 on these cards, that's a Jackie Robinson Day, and it's pretty rare. Way to go. Blake D., let's put it up on the wall. That will be two of the three up here. We'll go to Blake. Jackie Robinson. Good one, Blake. I know you'll see the video tomorrow. Happy for him on that. Matt L is calling for some Dodgers ink. Let's do it. Let's get a Gavin. Our fifth is going to be Starling Marte. That's a tarot. Garrett Cole, base, Yankees. Matt L says this is Blake's box. Yes, it is. Our fifth is going to be Russell Iglesias for the Reds. Oh, we finally got a bazooka. Remember I told you you wouldn't miss it. You couldn't miss it. The Reds, Jennifer H., our first bazooka of the night, hard to believe, but that is Ray Sal Iglesias. Let's get that one in a loader, top loader. Love these bazookas. Beautiful cards. Look at that. The bazooka last year was kind of iffy, didn't like it much. This one, they got right. There it is, bazooka back. Add that to the hit pile. Fifth is going to be Domingo Leyva for the Diamondbacks, rookie. Looks like we've got about eight and a half minutes left, about seven minutes on those auctions for Leather and Lumber. A few more shots. Blue Jays are still available, albeit they're probably going high. It sounds like the rest are. A Dustin May rookie there. Keston Hira, fortune teller. Brewers, Thomas B., Nat still available. I imagine Texas Rangers still available. Giants may be coming off the board anytime. Cardinals may be coming off the board anytime. Yeah, Matthew J., there's cereal again. Fat Pudge. The bazooka back that we got with Aaron Judge, number to 25, uh, was different looking. And, and I, the only reason I knew to look for that was because I've been looking for the Trout Auto Bazooka back. That just goes for just a stupid amount of money. And and those awesome star, you know, short print autos, they look like that. They look different. Oh, there's an auto. Let's put that down. Another Gavin. Blake D's box. Dodgers. There you go. Very nice. Well, let's see what our auto is. Good luck, everybody. Sean, it is a Brave. Unfortunately, it's not a Cunha, but you score the Mike Fultonevich. On-card auto. Beautiful card there for the Atlanta Bravos. Nice. Get that in a top loader for you and in the hits recap. There it is. Faulty. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Michael S. Tampa Bay. There you go. There's a trout base. 
Fifth is Scherzer, not Bazooka. Fifth here is the fortune teller, Paul DeYoung, for the cards. That's Ryan Z's cards. Yeah, Mike, would love to see you get some Tampa Bay in that next one. Some raise hits. The fifth, okay, here we go. This is a missing nameplate, and it's a star, J.D. Martinez. This is what you want to see. Because, again, there's a lot of players that aren't stars that get these missing nameplates. When you find the star that is, that's a nice card. Boston, Michael S., nice Red Sox cards. Get that in your short prints pile. Jesus Lazardo. Rookie for the Oakland A's. Our fifth here is a tarot. That is Noah Syndergaard, Thor, the magician. Another tarot. That is JV for the Trastros. Toronto's over 100 now. One minute left to go. Three minutes left on the Nats, it looks like. Those of you that won one team, uh, more than one team will get your combined invoices out as soon as I finish up here. Glaber Torres, fortune teller. Lubop, another Luis Robert. That's, I think, the fourth one. Maybe the fifth one. Had several of them. Nice ones there, Mark R. Oh, there's an auto. I believe that will be our last auto of the night unless they screw up and give us another one. So I'll tell you what, I'm just going to leave it there. Let's wait. We're almost done. Maybe it'll be a nice big one on the way out. Fifth card of this pack is Randall Grichuk. No short print there. Hey, Stemmers, my pleasure. Get those sets completed. That's part of the fun of this kind of break. You know what to do, Michael S. Hey, there's a Chipper Jones legend. Sean, you got the one with the uh, missing nameplate last time. Now you get the just the base uh, Chipper Jones, still a short print. Nice. So surprising, Matthew J., that Toronto went for 100. And in that, you've got the Vladdy, uh, the Vladdies, the rookie Vladdies. That actually, in comparison to other teams, kind of a steal. You expect the Padres to go up. There's another bow for Jeremiah D. You expect the Padres to do well with Tatis. Yankees to do well because the checklist that they've got, massive checklist. But, uh, you know... I think the blip, maybe people just run out of money. I mean, that's, <laughs> there's only so much money to go around on these breaks. Fifth is Mike Miner. Not a short print. Washington at 94. Wow. Anyone in here ended up getting the Jays? Question from Tyler. We got color. Dwight Smith Jr. And that is number to 150, which makes it blue. So Baltimore, Stephen B., you've got the Dwight Smith Jr., blue to 150. Ninety-six for Washington. See, Washington is going as high as uh, as Toronto did, which is a little surprising. But again, if there are people that want in that break, and that's why Washington tends to go higher, maybe even sometimes than it should. Because they, they want to get in. 127.50. My goodness for Washington. That'll make Mrs. Chomps happy. AJ Puck, rookie. Nice. 
That's a lot for the Nats. How's their checklist look? I wonder, was there anybody in here? I wonder if anybody in here got that. Dylan Cease, rookie. There's a Shohei in that fifth hole. Again, lots of angels in the five hole. No bazooka. Oh, hanger box luck. There you go. Logan F. Huh, Mrs. Chomsky, a new pair of shoes. True story, um, I actually surprised her yesterday with a Jeep. She's always wanted a Jeep. And I found a 2018 Jeep with 9,000 miles on it for 30,000. Typically, they're going to be 34 to 40,000. Dealership took about a $5,000 loss on it. And I had my salesman pull it up, drive it an hour away. It was an hour away. Drive it to my house. I had her outside, and she got to see her beautiful Jeep. And she took it for a spin, took the top off it. Beautiful day, 75 degrees. There's McKay. You would ask me that, Michael. I think it's a Sport Unlimited. I don't think it's not one of the souped up ones. Oh, look at this. Jeremiah. We've got a Vladdy with a missing nameplate. I've not seen this one yet. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Missing nameplate. JD. Whew. That'll help you out a little bit with all those bows. Nice. Nice, Vlad. <laughs> and I get the trout no name. That's right. See, we all have our things that we like. Oh, that was I almost pulled up the auto for us right there. I was leaving. <laughs> Break some cards, get a Jeep. I will say Mrs. Chomps works very hard on the for Chomps. She's obviously behind the scenes. She's not like Mouse that's going to want to get in front of the camera or, or is willing to get in front of the camera. She will never. She says, I'd much rather play a support role. And she does a lot of sorting and shipping for us. And between the kids at home, she helps me. She's my administrator for my day job at my office. Uh, she works very, very hard. So she said, are we trading in my Durango? Because we have a Durango. And I said, no. No. This is just uh, your kick-around toy. Your Jeep. So um, we were driving around the block, and she said, can we afford this? I'm like, well, we're going to have to. You got one. All right. Last auto of the night. Best of luck. I'm not even going to look at it. I'm just going to flip it. Good luck. Lance McCullers Jr. for the Trash Trashdros. Thomas B., you have got the McCullers. So we have done well with our short prints, but you guys know, I'm pretty honest, we did not have the best lineup of autographs tonight. And this happened to us last time with Gypsy. And you may recall that the second half of the Gypsy case was pretty epic so keep an eye on that i'm gonna look at my show schedule and see when the next one's coming up those of you in the know this group may want to be on the next one because we did not pull the autos we wanted to pull tonight looks like our next gypsy this other half case It's going to be Sunday. Yeah. Sunday the 24th. Yeah, I'll open up that silver pack. I won't forget. Sunday the 24th at 1030 Eastern. Make a note. Sunday the 24th, 1030. We will crack the other half of this. Let's do... Let me check for bazookas real quick and then we'll do the silver pack. Oh, so I throw your cards around. I only, I only mean to throw around Urania. The rest is an accident. Thomas B. says, Chrome Pack Rip. Let's see. No bazookas there. You guys know what happened last time we had a not-so-hot first-half gypsy break. A lot of times they're pretty even from what I've seen, but the last break was like this. The first one wasn't any good, and then the second one we got a lot. 
Michael S., you know about that. You got the Judge Auto to 25, Bazooka Back, the Glaber Auto, the Redemption, Urshela, Urshela, rather. Now, we pulled a Bazooka in this box already, so I'm going to be a little surprised if we get one here, but we need to check it anyway. Yeah, see, and we've only got the one Bazooka. That's it. So there's, there's a handful of them in the next half. Don't tell anybody. I won't either. Just this group knows. Be looking for that Sunday the 24th. All right, let's do the Chrome, the Silver Pack. Looking for a rip here on the way out. Strasburg. Oh, we got color there. It looks gold to me. Best of luck, friends. Oh, we just talked about them. Gio Urshela. Alex H. Alton. Your Urshela is numbered to 50. Very nice. Three out of 50 on the Gio Urshela. Let's put that in a top loader for you guys. Yeah, absolutely, MLB. We got a tribute. One more case coming to that. I think that's, that cracks this weekend. Okay, quick hits recap, and we will sign off and get into Leather and Lumber. We got an Alzale, Corey Dickerson Auto, Deion Sanders. I'm not going to call him a legend. He's on the checklist. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. Chipper Jones, missing nameplate. Lazardo, nice auto there. Roberto Clemente, short print legend. Alex Young, auto rookie, Diamondbacks. Shed Long, auto Mariners. Mike Schmidt, legend. Okay, wait a second. Uh, Phillies, Michael S., can I give you some good news? I hope you have not left yet. We did not check the back of one of your Schmidts. Oh my gosh. How did we forget that? Dude, you have a Mike Schmidt bazooka back. That's, we didn't check that. Oh my gosh, that is cool. A legend bazooka. Huh. Okay. It's not too late to stick them on a pedestal. People waiting for combined shipping, they can wait. Now it makes sense. Now there's two. That's right, Sean. I was wondering why we only got one. Honus Wagner. Zach Collins. Rookie card auto. Astadio. Fat Pudge, Mr. Serial. Iglesias, our second bazooka. Fulte auto. Base chipper to add to the missing nameplate chipper. Vladdy, missing nameplate. We scored on these short prints. McCullers, I just wasn't as much a fan of the autos tonight. And Urshela, Urshela, numbered to 50 gold. And we've got the Kirby Yates to 10. We have got the Beatty Auto for Blake D. And we've got the, the Muncie Jackie Robinson Day. And now your big bite of the night has got to go for the Mike Schmidt bazooka back. That is that is an awesome card. I was ready to give it to Blake. It's not actually, it's not numbered, Michael. It's not numbered, but you got a double variation there. Blake is a very close second, and we wish you well, Blake. That Mike Schmidt stole the show there at the end. Last second, big bite time. Love it. Guys, I'm going to get this cleaned up, get ready for leather and lumber. Thank you all for being here. If I don't see you in the next video, thank you for spending your time and hard-earned money with me. You have officially been chomped. Bye, kids.